Come on, man. Y'all gotta put my boy Jay Amiri on YouTube, man. Jay Amiri. That boy go hard. Tell him not sent you, man. No, I cannot trust you. Yeah, yeah. I cannot trust on these niggas. I do not trust on these niggas. You're sharing it out. I got y'all. One minute. This kind of music make you get up out of bed. You know what? I want to make some money today. Yeah, yeah. Juggernaut lines, Juggernaut networking, post that, nail to nifty, gorilla that promo, paste, nail that, uh, Mr. Clutch that, not so clutch serves. I think we good. Let's get it. What's goody in the hoodie? Not the best gamer. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, support the movement. We here on this ghost of Tsushima. How we doing today, man? Let's see who won the chat, man. Y'all already know how we do it. The first one in the chat is the juggernaut of the day. And that appears to be Juni. Juni is the juggernaut of the day? Okay, who gonna be our content creator? SSG, Scott Sauce Gaming, man. Hey, man, can we get SSG link in the chat? So I could pin it. You know how we do it. The first one to show love in the chat. That's a content creator gets the link posted. So Junior is our con is our juggernaut of the day, as well as our content creator juggernaut, SSG Scott Saw Scott Saw's gaming. <laughs> oh excuse me. Zero. Hey Benedict. Not hey. What's getting in the here in the hoodie? Z zero. Junior said yes, sir. I made. It. What's that? We made it. Ah ah. We made. It. Hey hey. This one's for you. Joni SSG, let's get it, man. Make sure y'all drop bombs on that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Support the movement. Jogging us, we in here. Let's get it. SSG said, my dude, hey, Benedict, not Joni. Yes, sir, I made it, SSG. Everything good in the hood. King Morgan, hey, hey man. Appreciate the new, uh, new subscriber, King Morgan, man. Let's get some bombs dropped on it. King Morgan, Johnny Martinez, hey, man. Hola. Como estas? Hey, great game here. Yes, sir, man. This is one of my own favorites. One of my favorites, man. Hit the like for the trainer, y'all. Hey, man. Hey. Krispy Kreme over here, dog. All Krispy Kreme over here, dog. <laughs> Peaches and Queen. What's good in the hoodie, mama? High knots. That's what she said. Uh, SSG. Peaches dropped SSG. So, I'm going to go ahead and pin this link, man. Y'all make sure y'all get with my boy SSG, man. We got to show him some love. He is the juggernaut content creator of the day pin message y'all just click that pin message hit that link and subscribe to my boy ssg check him out mrs queen said knots man what's getting the hoodie sun kiss i pin <laughs> i knew what you meant queen 
Our parents got up. Thank you, Peaches. Peaches, I posted Scott's link up. Thank, uh, thank you, Mr. Clutch Dad. What's that word, my boy? What's that word? What you want, man? Mr. Clutch is in the building, man. Y'all make sure y'all, hey, I got to, hey, y'all got to connect with Clutch because that boy, when he come back, it's going to be, you can't even call it a comeback, man. Hostile takeover, bro. Brian Wright, ma, we in this bit. Mr. Clutch Dad, um, W not ma. My lip feel big as hell. <laughs> what, uh, from the dentist's office, what happened? So, hey, I want to speak on something real quick, man. Hold on, hold on. He like, he like, bro, what you want to speak on, dog? Because you, you ain't, you ain't played this game in a little minute. Now you want to get on the game and you want to talk. Yeah, man, I got to talk to the people, man. Nah, she always doing this shit. You got to get on the game. You talking to the people. Bro, the game is just an excuse so I can talk to the people. All right, man, but I'm going to turn my back on you. All right, do what you got to do. You bitch, you going to still hear me, though, anyway. Do y'all think arguing is a bad thing? Because I personally do not think arguing is a bad thing. I think if used correctly, arguing could be actually a very good thing. Oh, you see my boy turned around. Now nah, he trying to hear it. He trying to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie. You got something. You you own something right now. I'm on, bro. Just just hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. If you're in a relationship and you never argue, that means there's things in that person's head that's not being conveyed to you. It's not being verbalized. You know, when you have a good argument, you learn. You can learn from an argument. When you have a good argument you can heal you can heal from an argument when you have a good argument you can get some stuff off your chest and when you get certain things off your chest it's a relief now don't get me wrong don't everything have to be an argument but there's some things that aren't always agreeable some things that are always agreeable now let's refer to the chat real quick uh i have a headache i'm sorry to hear that peaches man what you take for your headaches because i use a Cedrin migraine extra strength Excedrin combats, no, nah, I ain't got no, uh, <laughs> they ain't my sponsor, but no, nah, I do use Excedrin. <laughs> the, uh, what's that word? Class is what Brian said. Oh, I love, <laughs> I know you love arguing peaches. You sure? <laughs> and since you said, you sure do. Hear that, Scott? You hear that, Scott? The more we argue, the more we learn. Yes, but you got to do it in a healthy manner, man. Because some people argue, some people arguing skills are horrible. You got the people that talk over you. Ah, 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 ah. All right. You got the people. And, no, and those people that talk. See, okay, I'm not going to say those people because we all have done this a time or two. You know, when you speak, sometimes people speak to be heard. Sometimes people speak to listen. You know, if I'm letting you talk, <clears throat> if it's your time to talk, you talk, I should be listening. I shouldn't be waiting for the opportunity to go ahead and say something again. I shouldn't be waiting for the opportunity to cut you off. I should be listening, trying to hear what you're saying and hear what you mean. Okay? So on top of the people that talk over you, we also got the people that just say, you got the people that get off topic. I'll put it like that. People that get off topic. Sometimes when people argue, you, sometimes you hit a nerve. You hit a nerve, and sometimes that nerve hurts a feeling. And, so, and when that feeling gets hurt, that person is no longer listening to the conversation. They're no longer listening to you. Now what they're doing is thinking about how I could hurt you back. And that's called getting off a topic, people. If I'm trying to tell you something about something, you know, we're, we're having a little argument, a disagreement, and you say something like, Bro, that sounds stupid as fuck. You sound dumb. You sound you sound dumb right now. You sound you sound dumb right now. You're getting off a topic because now my feelings hurt. And you know what the first thing we're gonna do when our feelings get hurt. Look, he like, bro, go ahead, go on and say it, man. Go on, let me let me hear. First thing you're gonna do once your feelings get hurt is try to hurt feelings back. Dumb? You talking about dumb? Bitch, you dumb. You wouldn't even know. Oh, man. Now we ain't even talking about what we talking about no more. Now we trying to hurt feelings. So I, I ain't going to draw it out. I ain't going to drag it out. But what I'm, what my point is, is arguments could be good. They could be healthy. But you got to recognize when you're in the right mind space to have an argument, to have a healthy argument. 
Because if you're not in the right mind space to have that argument, if you're not in the right mind space to receive what someone is saying, if you're not in the right mind space to stick to the topic, to stick to the point, it's going to be unhealthy. What could be beneficial to that relationship, and it's not always boyfriend, girlfriend, um, it, it could be friends, it could be people that don't even know each other. But when you have an argument, you want to have a healthy foundation in which we can both speak our mind. And at the end of the day, if we just don't agree, we just agree to disagree. It don't have to be no no hurt feelings. It don't have to be no this. It don't be. It don't have to be no that. You know, it don't. It don't have to be that. We can argue with each other. We can disagree. It don't mean fuck that. Fuck, it don't mean fuck them niggas on the south side. It don't mean that. It means just I don't fuck with these niggas on the south side. You know, it could be that. You know, it don't. It don't have to be a hate thing. It don't have to be a oh well. If you don't agree with me, then you just you weird. You dumb. You nah. It don't got to be all that. Echelon gaming first time coming in through. Love. Hey man, drop some bombs on Echelon. We dropping bombs on Echelon. Appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Brian Wright chilling. Um, chilling clutch. Cool and Brian. What you on? Oh, never mind. It's not healthy. <laughs> uh, what's that word? Echelon? Oh, good. My, uh, me and SSG getting free pre-marriage counseling. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's hurt feelings. Uh, w Echelon, come and welcome to the stream. Hey, appreciate you for that clutch, man. Pulling on, uh, dropping the red the red carpet for my, for my people on um, walking up. Brian, good afternoon, my guy. How you doing? Make sure y'all hit that like button. It do hit di it do hit different when you hit that like button. Um, when you making a comeback clutch, hey, don't call it a comeback, man. It's a hostile takeover. We taking over. But yeah, man, somebody hit me up, man. Nah, I ain't, ain't nah. We ain't, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do all that, man. We gonna do that. But yeah, man. Anybody that ever wanna, I'll just put it like this. Anybody that ever wanna. Have a little argument with me. Have a little conversation. If you could do it in a healthy, grown man, grown woman type way, if we could have actual conversation, because I'm always willing to hear. Listen, I'm always willing to hear. You know, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to come at your throat. You know, if I want to come at your throat, I come at your throat. I don't got to come at your throat. I actually want to hear what you got to say and how you feel. You know, I might learn something from it. Don people, pleasant, marvelous Monday. Pleasant, marvelous Monday. Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Appreciate you pulling up, Don. How we doing, man? Ma'am, my apologies. How you doing, man? How you doing, ma'am? <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Echelon, Mr. Clutch, what's up, man? Echelon said, what's up, man? Uh, with the butterflies. I love it. I love it. I just can't. I just can't be healthy. I have to take it. To the, ooh, that girl said, you got to take it to the 50-yard line. Get in your face with it. Uh, hey, hey, and I, and I feel you on that. But at some, you know, at some point, it, it's, just as, it's just as simple as saying, all right, now make a left up here. No, 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 no. It ain't a left. You go right. No, nah, man, it, it's left. No, nah, I'm trying to tell you it's right. That's a disagreement, but it's something that we can learn from. Oh, shit, you know what? It is right. My bad. And then boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. It's done. It's over with. You know? That's just a small example. You know? I, I love, hey, hey, disagree. Hey, argue. Argue me down. Hit me with the facts. Hit me with the point. You know? I, I love a good fact. I love a good point being made. What I don't like it's people over talking the situation so that they sound good with what they saying so they can win the argument. You're not really winning the argument. You're just good with words. You make me look stupid. And that's fine, too. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I went to the wrong place. I went to the wrong place. Oh, no. Hey. Bullseye. Pull up, dog. I know you hit a whistle. Come on. Come on, dog. Bro, where you going? Bruh, bruh, he went the he went the whole other way. My horse ran away from me, dog. Oh, just wait, just wait. I'm a I'm a bron. What what the thing called when you get the metal and you put it over heat, then you put your symbol on them. I'm going the wrong way, but I need to look at the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. This where I need to be going. 
for the white smoke. I feel like I did that already. Right, okay, because we're looking for white smoke. Mushroom Mani in the building. What's goody? What's goody in the hoodie? I'm feeling marvelous. Working 12 hours and loving myself life to the fullest. I, hey, I, hey, I love that. I love the sound of that. That's a beautiful thing. Peter said, and I've got to get the last. See, now that's. Hey, now that's my problem. I feel this need to have the last word. And now, don't get me wrong. I'm a very aware person. I love to learn new things about myself. I'm still learning myself and getting to know myself. It's not even an argument thing. We're not, I, I, okay, let's say I'm having a conversation at work, all right? Conversation has gone too long. I need to get back to work. And what I realized about myself is I can't end the conversation trying to have the last word. Now, hear me out on this. This is something I try to instill in my kids also. Let's say your mama fussing at you. Your mama fussing at you, talking about how you always beg, I want this, can I have that? Notice when you speak back, when you say something else, if you say something else, they got to say something else. Then you want to respond to that, they going to respond to that. So if you really want it to be over, let them have the last word. You know, if, if they got five minutes of nagging, they got five minutes of nagging, every word that you say makes another, another nag, another five minutes. All right, now you got to respond to that. It's another five minutes of nagging. All right, I got to spark another five minutes now. Well, you could just, and this is me for being a parent speaking to a kid. This is me being a kid trying to receive my, what my parents trying to teach me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I'm sorry. I said a swear word. My apologies. Shut the hell up and let them get their five minutes in and then be done and be over with. You know? Let them have that last word. And now when it comes from a man and a woman... It's never an attractive thing to go back and forth with a woman. As a man, what I try to teach and instill in my son is, you know, and also without it, it's not seeming like you don't care or nothing, but you state what you have to say for the record. You state it for the record, you speak on it, and then it's done. Now, if she got more to say, you listen, hear her out, make it feel good. But as far as, hey, I am man, and I say this, and then that's that. It's done, over with. You ain't got to... Keep on going back and forth with the female. That's not that's not manly tendencies. Um, I'm sorry after yes, but I need the last word. Am I sorry after yes, but I need oh yeah, I understand that. Don making that money. That's your money. Mushroom Manny, what's goody? I've got to get the last word. Uh Don said Manny. Yes, I work as a registered nurse. Okay, shout out to the RNs. Don said, Manny, please enjoy yourself in the streaming. Yes, indeed. Thank you. I would rather be up fighting all night till 2 in the morning to get the last word. It's never done for me. Now, nah, see, you got you to gotta think, you gotta think healthy. You got to think what's co conducive. That's the word of the day. Conducive. You got to think what's conducive to the situation. What's going to help the situation? You know, and what usually will help the situation is us having some type of understanding, some kind of common ground, something that we can all relate to, a basis, if you will. You know, we can't all just be saying anything and everything. I feel like, I swear, I feel like I've done this, man. I know the character, the game character, like, bro, you ain't, you ain't played me in a long time, bro. You don't know what we did or didn't do. I'm still looking for white smoke. See a lot of fog. I don't know if I see white smoke. I see some white smoke. I mean, I see some smoke right here. Let's see, I'm supposed to. I should be able to double tap O. And he don't take no damage, but welcome to my world. Keep on looking. 
So it's old Yarakara for it, right? Smoke. Is this too far? Almost too far. But now nah, y'all answer me, y'all y'all hear me out in the chat, man. Um, what's one of the, okay? So Peach shared hers. Peach said she got to have the last word. What's one of the things y'all do in an argument that's not conducive to the argument? Me, my thing is also the last word. On top of that, mine's is probably the picking and choosing of my battles. Y'all all know with certain things that, you know, you you can't fight every single battle. You know, you know you're supposed to pick and choose what battles to fight. Um, I probably ha I probably make a poor choice in which battles I choose to fight. You know, there might be some battles that I should have I should have had that argument in. I should have had that battle. And there might be some where I shouldn't have, you know. So that that's that's one of my issues. Um, also, along with the last word, um, not knowing when to shut up. That's another one of my issues. This is why. See, a lot of the things, the, a lot of the knowledge I drop on y'all, it don't be me on the outside looking in on other people's lives. It be my own faults that I know is a fault that I share with y'all because we can't all be out there like be perfect out here in this world. You can't use logic with a br oh! Now that's one of the ones I see a lot. Logic versus emotion. Logic versus emotion is one of the toughest arguments to have. Because one person is going off of just the feelings, the feeling of, you know, they probably feel disrespected. They probably feel, uh, it's whatever it's the feeling. They don't agree with, the, with how you feel about it. So you trying to speak logic into it, they going off of feelings and they never could quite find that common ground. That that's a big one, man. Shout out to Clutch for that one. Uh, what we said, go ahead, that's J. Spill the beans about what you do. That's not conduct. <laughs> that's not conducive. I'm glad you spelled it out because I didn't know how to spell that word. I just I just knew how to use it in a sentence. I don't see no white smoke, y'all. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? I think I don't went too far out. Uh, that's you, Didi. Didi said hi. What's good in the hoodie, Didi? How you doing, Mama? Oh hell yeah! I never know when to shut up. I can't shut up, and I'm a brick wall. And I'm a brick wall. Dang! Hit it with that Kevin Hart. That dang. Yeah, man. I don't. I can't. I don't know when to stop, man. I, I go too far, man. And then after the argument, I gotta have a conversation with myself out loud. I be like. So you telling me this dumb motherfucker don't know, motherfucker? And then, now I, I don't be saying shit like that, but I have to like review the whole conversation that we just had, the whole argument that we just had to myself, and I got to say it out loud so that the person here, nah, it, it's not conducive. It's not conducive to the relationship. That's something I got to work on, y'all. I'm not perfect. He ain't through with me yet, but Lord knows I'm trying. You still ain't found smoke. All right, is that white smoke over there? That look like white smoke. I know I'm on that loot. I know I'm on my looting ish. We don't, we don't miss no bags. I'm a Pisces also. Why well, SSG? Oh, I'm doing fine. How about you? Nothing much. Just chilling. Hey man, I appreciate that, Didi. Um, Didi. Now the vibe I get with you, you seem like you kind of like more like to yourself. You're not too like, you know. I don't know extrovert, introvert. But when it comes to arguing, what's something that you do or just a disagreement? Like, what, what's, okay, for example, Peach said one of her issues is she likes to have the last word, which isn't necessarily healthy in the argument. One of my issues is I don't know when to stop. You know, I can never let it just be done and over with. Um, Clutch mentioned um, using logic against a brick wall. You know, so what are some of your things? I am an introvert. Okay, I get that vibe from you. I'm I'm very vibe. Um, I'm very big on energy and vibes, and I definitely get that vibe from you. Um, I'm I'm as much as an introvert as I am an extrovert. I don't know if there's a word for that, but um, like I said in one of my earlier streams, I am as social as I am antisocial. I love the idea of meeting new people. 
Um, I love the idea of being around a group of people and being out, you know, having fun with people. But my experiences in the past has given me introvert tendencies to where I don't necessarily want to deal with people. So I'm as antisocial as, as I am social. But I ain't found the white smoke yet. I don't found a whole. I don't found holy ground, but I can't find the white smoke. And it's all in this circle. It gotta be somewhere over here. Am I tripping? Duffel bag done. What's goody in a hoodie, brother? My guy, what's up, bro? What's goody in a hoodie done? Rockstar Gaming in the building. Hey, we dropping bombs on Rockstar pulling up, man. Hey, man, Rockstar Gaming is one of the OG, triple OGs from back in the day, bro. One of the A1 day ones, man. I'm talking about Warzone 1 type stuff. Maybe even before that, man. I got a bad memory, but, man, what's goody in a hoodie on um, Rockstar? How we doing, man? Peaches the Don is here. <laughs> he knows I'm a lunatic. He ain't seen those no sides. He ain't seen that side. I like to yell, scream, say you ain't shit. And when I'm done with all that, I'll go. I'll go some. Damn. I'll go some more. Didi said okay. Uh, Peaches. And then after the whole argument, I won't speak to you for two days. Oh, see, nah, see, see, hey, hey, I, I am bad with that. My girl always saying every argument, okay, that's all right. You'll be apologizing tomorrow. You think I apologize tomorrow? Hell yeah. But I also apologize that night before tomorrow. I apologize right after the argument. I say, man, bitch, you ain't shit. And I sit there and be like, all right, man, I, I ain't mean all that, man. I ain't really, like, I, I'll be, see, once I get it out my system, I'll be good. So I'll be ready to love again once, I, once I'm done being mad. You know, it's like immediate. Her? Yeah, she need about two days to cool off. Bro, where is this white smoke? That bitch not letting me roll off. All right, let me go down here. I'd rather not even talk to you instead of dealing with you. See, you know what I mean? I, I, as soon as I'm... I'll get it off my chest and I'll feel bad afterwards. I'm like, damn, you know what? I did go a little too far. Maybe I need to apologize. <laughs> I'll go too far, man. I'll go too far and apologize immediately. I don't even want to do this no more, bro. There ain't no damn, there ain't no smoke. I don't see no smoke. All right, let's hit everything. All right, we about to hit the whole circle, y'all. The whole circle. We're going to find the smoke. Search old Yabakawa for the white smoke. I don't see no white smoke, but we on front. Where the hell that damn horse that ran off left me to fend for myself? Level bad. My wife needs a week, boy. Hey, don't. It's, di it's different, man. They come. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie. I done told my girl. Hey, baby. I tell my girl I love her every day. I don't even be arguing with her, honestly, man. Real talk. Hey. I got mind control over Devo. She be like, shut up. I be quiet, but when she leave, I be talking. Everything's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> My wife need a week. Yeah, but they, they do, man. It's like they be so, they, that, that anger, man. And the thing is, a female, they know, they know they hit harder than a man do. I'm talking about with their words, they, they, you know, parts of the argument, they know they hit hard. Like, I told, who I told this to? I told this to somebody the other day. They was talking about going back and forth with their girl. Bro, what happened? What happened, y'all? Ain't nobody going to tell me what happened? Y'all good? Y'all don't need no samurai to come avenge y'all man's death or nothing? Y'all good? All right. Shit. Sure. Y'all got it. Ain't got no loot laying around or nothing. All right. But, yeah, I told the dude the other day. I told, no, I told the, his girl the other day. I said, men cannot win a petty battle. A man can never win a petty fight. You know, when you go blow for blow, you just talk. You know, when an argument goes too far and then we just start saying shit just to hurt the person's feelings, a man will never win that battle. Never. 
Because a female, once they say F it, it's F it. They come for your throat, bitch. I'll t they'll talk about your mammy, your daddy, your pop, your pappy, your bald-headed baby mama. They'll, hey, they'll come for it. But the kid, your kid could be right there. That's why your kid ugly as hell anyway. He look like his dad. I'm, bruh, they don't pull no punches. <laughs> SSG knows me most. I don't shut up. Double Bad said, thanks, bro. Mr. Clutch said, what I miss? Clutch said, just sub, uh, Double Bad. Hey, appreciate that, Clutch. Yup. <laughs> Don, feel me. There's no talking to me. No shutting up. We got to get the last word. Double Bad died. Died, mom. <laughs> hey, we don't, they don't pull no punches to it. You can't win no petty battle, bro. There's no petty. There's, there's no winning a petty fight. I remember one time. Oh, man. I wish Death Machine was in here. Death Machine, though, I was in here playing with Death Machine on Call of Duty after uh, after me and my girl got into it. I'm talking about this about 20, 30 minutes later. And, Don, you know we running DMZ. I don't think I'm supposed to be around here. We running DMZ. 30 minutes after the argument. We ain't even arguing no more. I'm like, I'm straight now. Let me just calm my nerves, play the game. She cut off the internet. Cut the internet off. Click. And you know how tra Don, you know how tragic that is when you playing DMZ. You know? The fact if you play a DMZ and you're alive still, you know, there's a chance for you to X fill and the internet cut out. Bip, gone. I said, I said, no, what happened? And I looked at her. She told me some. Mm. Like what's up, nigga? What, what's up, what you got to say? What's up? What you? What's up? What? What? <laughs> That's exactly how you look at it. I'm like, you know, you can't win petty. The female will always beat you in petty, bro. It will never be a chance that you could win the petty fight. You can't win the petty fight. You can't go blow for blow for petty when it comes to petty. All right, this is a full circle. This is where I ran off at. For white smoke. This is white smoke. Look, now this is where we ran off from, right? Maybe I am supposed to go here? I don't know. Let me just shoot somebody and see. At least get some action in. Yeah. Yeah, at least get some action in. You better do something. He said, your wife is sweet angel, duh. Nah, she didn't. No, she did. Bruh. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She ain't even care. <laughs> she ain't even care I didn't that spill, right? She ain't care about the guns I lost. She ain't care about my three-plate stuff, armor. She ain't even care, dog. She ain't even care. <laughs> Left my boy Brandon in there by himself. Brandon was like, dog. They left me. <laughs> That's hilarious. She turned the game. Now she turned the internet off, bro. And got me kicked out the game. You know, DMZ don't play. Hell no. Nah. My wife was talking about my uh, dead dog and make it. Oh. Bruh. I'm telling you, they don't pull no punches, man. You can't go too far. Bro, it's not even go too far. You can accidentally go too far. Nah, once that, hey. I'm trying to tell you, that's why I try to have a healthier argument. Try to get somewhere with it. Try to listen. That's the most you could do in an in a, in a argument. Try your best to listen, okay? Now, one of the issues is, is when y'all on two different sides. If you got one person that... Know what's, I'll put it like this, knows how to argue. And when I say knows how to argue, that means you know you're supposed to listen when the other person's talking, and then you you know you respond. You stick to the topic and you don't you don't try to hurt feelings, you know. One person might be listening, and one person might Okay, let's say I'm listening to you. Alright, I'm gonna let you talk. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I hear your point. Now when I try to talk you cutting me off, you know. You got one person that is listening. You got one person that ain't trying to listen. 
that messes it up too, man. You got to be balanced. You got to be able to have a conversation. All right, man, this is how we need to argue. Like, speak your mind, say your piece. Don't talk too long because I'm going to forget what I'm trying to say. And then, you know, you let me speak. You know, vice versa, back and forth. I try to be hurt. Pe hey, peach is coming for your throat. The dead dog. Duh, stop capping. <laughs> yeah. Miss, uh, Miss Queen Sunkiss said, Duffel bag. Actually, really try and be as hurtful as I can. See, nah, you can't, you be, you can't be hurtful. Like, and Peaches, I think you're not giving yourself, I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. Because we've had conversations, we've had disagreements. And you've always been really understanding of my point of view. And now, I'm not saying I'm right all the time. I could be wrong. But you always took the moment to, like, actually hear me. And you try to listen. Now, if you take that mindset into your next argument, I bet it could be a conducive argument. Conducive. That's the word of the day, y'all. My boy ain't got no head no more. Oh, shoot. That wasn't me. Well, let me switch bows. Nah, that wasn't a samurai. That was, oh. Hold on. Hold on, yeah, go check it out, my boy. Damn, he just dropping us. Duffel bag. Nah, don't let her fool you. <laughs> Queen said, hey. Actually, okay, uh, you can reason with me. So yeah, and that's and that's because I think that's because, okay. When the thing happened with me and old boy, this is the first beef. It's the first little issue that happened. And actually he's recently hit me up, but my whole issue, what made it an issue when he was having a conversation is he was trying so hard not to hear me to where I had to try even harder to not say anything that was going to take the conversation left. I need y'all to really feel me on this one, all right? It takes a lot to have a conversation with somebody who already has a preset mindset about you, who always has, who already has have figured out in their mind what they think of you, what they think your intentions are, and what they think you're doing. So while this person keeps on saying, nah, bro, nah, 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 you should know better. Nah, nah, I feel like you're playing dumb. I feel like to sit there at some point, you want to be like, I right, fuck you then, nigga. We could just, we could just argue then. We could just, don't have to be a healthy conversation. But I'm like, nah, we can't do that. We can't do that because I really want to get somewhere. I really want to get somewhere with this. I really want to get to a better place from where we're at right now. So I have to hear him. I'm, I'm just giving it from my point of view. Hearing you telling me, you telling me about me, you telling me what I'm doing, and I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing, that it's not, it's not going to work. It's like, okay, I let you talk, okay, I hear you, I hear what you think, it, what you think of me, I hear what you think, and what I'm telling you is, you're incorrect, despite how justified what you think of me is, despite the reasons why you think what you think. I get it. It makes sense. Okay, I can see your point of view. But despite all of that, I'm sorry, you're incorrect. That's not true. These are actually my intentions. And that's what let me know, damn, you got you got some kind of strength, Knox. You got the type of strength that you could literally deal with the BS so that you can get past the BS to a better place. You know, and that's what I thought we had did. That's what I thought it was. I thought, okay. I'm going to let him say what he say. I'm going to let him say it again. All right, you can say it again. All right, bro. No, that's not the case. This is actually what's going on. This is actually, and I see where you're coming from. I get it, man. I get it. It's hard to do that, man. It's really hard to do that. Because if you caught me a couple years ago, the fact that I, I, the fact that you was even talking to me would have been like a, a set off. You know, I had to get to a point where I could even have a conversation. 
You are 100% right, bro. I, hey, I appreciate it. Screen said, I don't talk to folk. That's what, that, that's hell bent on misunderstanding. See, that, see, that's, mm, I like that. I like that, queen. I don't talk to folk that's hell bent on misunderstanding me. It's like, what can you say? It's like you done made up in your mind what you think of me. You done made up in your mind. I can't even, if I tell you McDonald's is to the left, you going to go right. Just because I said it at this point, you know, you can't get nowhere with that conversation. It's not conducive. He just said, oh, hell yeah, my middle name when I'm pissed is wrong mindset. Oh, yeah, hey. And that, but, but Peaches, let's be honest. Let's be honest. When you get like that, when it gets like that, what's happening? Nine out of ten, your feelings was hurt, right? That's what be the case in my situations, or, or my arguments or whatever. Case. No, in my situations where I go too far, usually my feelings have been hurt somewhere down the line and i'm so prideful at that time i can't sit there and be like all right you're hurting my feelings you're hurting my feelings i could do that now like if my girl went into got into it and then she starts going a little too far because you know the emotion is taking over and she says something out the way i, I literally have to stop and be like hey all right it gets to a point where my feelings is getting hurt and there's something about it that it feels weird to say. You don't want to say, all right, you hurt my feelings. Now, chill out. All right, bro, you, ch you hurt my feelings, bro. Chill out. It, 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 you don't want to say it, but it's true. Now, this is where I got to make a point. We so quick to say real talk. I ain't not real shit, my nigga. Nah, hey, ain't no facts, my nigga. Nah, I only speak facts. Nah, nah, real talk. Real talk. But you can't tell the person that your feelings is hurt. You can't say, oh, you hurt my feelings. Bitch, you hurt my feelings. Now, this is at the same If I bring up anything on this streaming platform, on this chat, on this YouTube, about anybody, it's because my feelings, my feelings was hurt somewhere down the line. Yeah. Anything I brought up, a situation, a, a YouTube beef, or whatever you want to call it, my feelings was hurt somewhere down the line. It, it was hurt enough that I felt the need to speak on it. I'm going to hit you with another point, y'all. Y'all ain't going to fuck with me after this one. Y'all ain't going to fuck with me after this one. I don't care. That one right there, I don't care. Nah, bro, I don't even care. I don't care. I want you to know. Look in the mirror, y'all. I want you to know. If you have ever said, I don't care, there, there might be there might be a small situation where I, I'm where I'm wrong, but nine times out of ten, I say it like this: nine times out of ten, if you say I don't care, it's because you care. You might even care a lot. You might care a great deal. If you say I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Bro. I don't give a. Bro, you care, cause and I always relate to this. I don't know why. I gotta relate it to this. You could be on your deathbed. You ain't got too many words to say. Ain't too many words to say. Somebody that's close to death ain't gonna even speak on, give the time to, give the energy to, something they don't care about. Things I don't care about, you never hear me speak on. If Knox didn't care about it, not ain't said it, not ain't spoke on it, it ain't never been brought up, we ain't never had that type of conversation because Knox didn't care. But if you care about something, you speak on it. If you say I don't care, you want it to look like you don't care, but you do. That's something you got to be real with yourself about. Be real with yourself. Think about it. You cared enough to let me know that you didn't care. You cared enough to waste your breath on it. You cared enough to not give it no energy. To give it energy. That's all I'm saying. RK Pop, man. What's getting in the hoodie? Shout out to everyone who liked the stream and showing support, man. Appreciate that, Mr. Clutch. That. Uh, Mrs. Queen Sunkiss said, RK Pop, welcome to the stream. Um, Miss Clutch, that RK Pop, what's that word, my boy? Big nap show, what's getting in the hoodie? Big nap. Uh, Peaches and Queen, that's my best thing I say when I'm mad. I don't care. But we say it because we're mad and we care and we want the person to think we don't care, but we do care. You're letting them know how much you care when you tell them you don't care. RK Pop, Clutch, yo. I'm at work sneaking. Hey, hey, I feel you. That's how I'm going to be tonight. That's how I'm going to be tonight. Appreciate the 13 likes and the 9 on the 45 minutes, man. We, uh, we killing some mongols. We dropping some mongols. Let me not say killing.
Oh boy, who you looking at? Hold on, hold on. Let me use the weak bow for him because you look weak. Hold on, get my head shot. Damn it, I missed. Did they see me? Oh snap, they sound like they're pulling up. Big boy. Big boy go boom. Big boy go boom. Miss, Miss Queen, yo, Mrs. Queen, yo, I'm we're sneaking on uh, Carol, the girl. Welcome, Carol, the girl manager to the chat, man. Appreciate you pulling up a show. Some love, mama. How you doing today, man? Mr. Clutch, that shirt said, let's get it 15 likes. Who ain't hit that like button? Who ain't hit that like button? Come on, man. Can somebody drop love in the chat? Can somebody just type love? Just type in the word love in the chat. Let Nightbot do his thing. Because I love y'all, man. I hope y'all at least like me. I love y'all. I hope you at least like me. Oh, hold on. I popped out like... I popped out like I was him. I'm not. The boy's having a conversation. Nah, don't run. Don't run. Boy took a lot off his mind. Whatever he was thinking about, he ain't thinking about it no more. Yeah, we just having a little conversation about arguing and how it could be healthy or it could be harmful, depending on how you argue. I know ain't everybody loaded back up. I think they all loaded back up, man. That boy cooked. All right, now we off to the small bit. Uh, Miss Queen said, just got back from the dentist. Okay, I hope your appointment went good. Care hey, love. Hey, Nightbot said, you see, when y'all drop love, Nightbot says, y'all don't like me, but I love y'all. Please hit the like button, because I love y'all. I hope you at least like me. I hope you like me. I love y'all. I hope you like me. Here's a, hey, Peaches and Queen. Hey, Clutch Dad. Uh, hey, Mrs. Queen. This is what um, Carol said. Y'all show Carol some love, man. There you go. There that girl will be putting in work on her channel, man. Now nah, you don't see me. My boy didn't make it out the flame. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you going, my boy? Hold on, what you trying? Oh, you gonna blow the horn over here? Yeah, but you woulda, she woulda thought about that. My man just gonna watch you. Y'all ain't never learned to stop, drop, and roll. Oh, he ain't got no. Hold on, boy, you stop. Oh, hold on. Ain't nothing to see over here. Hold on now. Oh, snap. You don't see me. Hiding in the bushes. I'm in the bushes with it. Uh-uh. Where you going? I missed like a mug. All right, what we talking about? Hey, Peaches. My screen said, Carol, the government is your clutch. They say, hey, Carol. Yeah, man. So, Carol, um... So, Carol, what we talking about is just um, arguing. Arguing could be healthy, I feel. I feel like if you use arguing the right way, if you use it, if you argue so that you can learn something about the person, you can learn something new, you can learn about the situation, all those factors is possible with arguing. It's not a bad thing to argue, you know? Now, I'm not saying it's good to argue. I'm not saying that's the best route to take, but... You start off with the conversation. It starts with the conversation. Every argument starts somewhere. It starts with a little conversation. 
then what usually births the argument part is a disagreement all right we had a disagreement when you speak on that agreement and you can do it in a healthy manner oh hold on my boy hold on I'm ready to just fight now, nah, man. Let's get into it, man. I'm out here. What's good? Oh, no. I feel like I'm... What's up? What's up? I don't want to run up. Don't nobody want to run up. Where y'all going? Let's go. Turn the tail area. I can't find no white smoke. What you mean, the tail area? But you ain't gonna leave me this time. Get your ass. Oh, they killed the horse. Oh, snap. They don't kill my horse, man. Ooh. All right, so I ain't supposed to be over there, man. I, I can't find no white smoke, man. I don't see no white smoke. I would love to get through this part, at least this part. We ain't did nothing else. All right, let's let's go directly to let's go directly to the center. Let's go directly to the center. White smoke or fog? Alright, we right at the center, man. So it ain't the center. Y'all see any white smoke? I see fog areas. I see dark smoke. That's too far that way. Carol says, yeah, it's normal to argue. You just try to make sure it ends with a solution. Not just the back and forth. Yes, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, man. Not just the back and forth. Not the over-talking. You know, letting people get their, um, their words in. You know, actually listening to the person that you're arguing with. Because that, that's a lot of um, way, that's a big way of adding fuel to the flame. Not letting the other person get their words in, man. I know my girl can't stand it. She'd be like, would you let me talk? And I'd be like, oh. I'd be like, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know, because you, know, you hear somebody say something and you, you feel the need to speak on it. I, 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 no, no, let that person talk. Let it get it off their chest. A lot of times, that's what somebody just wants. They just want to get it off their chest. They just want to express how they feel. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Bro, I'm gonna do this circle. I'm gonna run through the circle one more time. Uh, it ain't, bro. All right, have we been? I don't think we've been there. I don't think we've been here. Hey, wake your ass. No, I'm sorry. Mm, I'm surprised. My boy is snoring, snoring. Like you had a hard day's work. You ain't been work. Wake your ass up. Get, get up. Speak to the people. But you still snoring? My boy living a fat life. He must have got a high metabolism. Carol said, how long you been gaming? All my life, I had to fight. Nah. 
<clears throat> I've been gaming since I could comprehend a controller. But um, as far as YouTube and gaming, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to say maybe like six years, you know, because, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to make it. All right, I got to be out. What the heck, man? Where is this white smoke at? Search old Yarakawa for white smoke. Oh, there we go. That's definitely white smoke, right? Y'all see that? That's definitely white smoke. That's definitely white smoke. Let's go ahead. You going you gonna to make it. Yeah, I know. I know. And one thing, you know, I'm proud of, you know, because I never want to, I never want to act too high and mighty. I always want to stay humble. But at the same time, I don't want to not recognize left a any. message for the spirit uh, of Yarikawa's vengeance. Oh, did they? I never want to not be grateful for the accomplishments the accomplishments that I have made you know I could definitely say that there is progression here there's there, there's there's a there's a little bit more progression every day and like the great wise PBG says one percent if you just increase something anything in your field by one percent Every time, you know, just 1% better at this, 1% better at that. If you do at least 1% better, I mean, how, how hard is it to get to 100%, you know? As long as there's a progression. I'm meeting new people, great people. Um, I'm having great conversations. I'm still learning about these these YouTube streets. Uh, I'm still learning the editing and everything. I'm still trying to expand in such a way that's not just live streaming. Like, there's progression here, and I'm grateful, and I'm thankful. And y'all know I can't give thanks without thinking y'all, the subscribers, the joggernauts, the people. I appreciate y'all. And I don't just say this just to say it. Y'all know me. I don't say things just to say it. I don't use phrases just to make a point, you know. If I say something like, hey, I'm going to pray for you. I mean, I'm a, when I get down on my knees and pray that night, I'm going to speak on you. I'm going to speak on your name. I'm going to pray for you, you know. So I'm thankful for y'all. I'm really thankful. The Mongols enslave our people. The camp along the Kushi River, not far from this shrine. Destro hey, you, you ain't got to tell me twice. The Mongols enslave our people. They camp along the Kushi River, not far from this shrine. Yeah. Destroy them. This Destroy is my them. Fight, not the spirits. Oh no. The wind just took me. How oh, the wind gonna take me the opposite way? The wind just was blowing that way. I gotta follow the wind. That's my GPS system. We in the water. Let's get it. Damn. Um. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I started off playing Sega. G That's my dog. That's my dog. I guess it's Sega Genesis. But I don't game no more. My son does. Do you play Dead by Daylight? Dead by Lay, I know. I, I I have played it. I played it before. My boy, what you doing? You out here alone? Sir, ma'am? Ooh, never mind. Yeah, um, I played Dead by Daylight before. I played the first one. Um, and it was one of those things that upset me because my homies was the one that told me about Dead by Daylight. They were like, hey, man, get Dead by Daylight. And then I got Dead by Daylight. I got Dead by Daylight. Um, it's a scary game. It's a zombie game. It's a nighttime horror game and then now none of them none of them online to play with me and i can't I, it's really hard for me to play scary games <clears throat> i could watch a scary movie by myself with no problem no fear the only thing that might scare me is a little jump scare ah you know real quick think fast ah but playing the video game i don't know what is it about a video game that's so nerve-wracking if y'all check out my outlast 2 videos i got i think i got a playlist of it I'm playing Outlast 2, and y'all gonna see the whole other side, the whole scary side of me. I'm, I'm saying, it's not pretty. It's not that pretty. Let me out. Please, All right, bro. Calm down. I'll free you. Tell me what happened. 
But yeah, I'm it's, I'm I'm really bad with scary games. All. But this they Halloween, I'm just don't worry. I'm gonna play another scary game. So y'all make sure y'all people with the Mongols. <sighs> Check so in. To them. You're free. You still ain't oh. played. Oh, Thank which you. one? Like it shared you out. Hello, not Mr. Bean. What's good in the hoodie, Mr. Bean? How we doing? I'm still Mr. Shirt. Clutch, that. Uh, what you mean? We still ain't played. We still ain't played what? You know I'm slow, man. I probably spoke on it just now and still don't know what I'm talking about. I gotta look for more white smoke. I thought I was supposed to go around. Am I supposed to be following him? I wasn't paying attention, man. Talking my damn self head off. Like, she was, uh, Carol, all right, that's Carol's link drop. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. Mr. Bean is dropping links, y'all. Mr. Bean is dropping links. I don't know if I'm supposed to follow buddy or not. I gotta search again for more white smoke. That's gosh. I think I see some actually. I gotta search for white smoke again. I think I see some. Oh yeah, yep. I think we're in the right direction. Um, dead by daylight. No, no, I, I haven't had it since, um, bro, that was a long, I matter of fact, I think I was on Xbox back when I played that. But yeah, I'm down, I'm down to play anything when I'm with a squad. I'm talking about even, even Call of Duty Zombies. I don't care for playing it by myself. I, I like it better with a crew. I like it better with a squad, man. I, it's it's scary, bro. <laughs> it's scary to me, dog. Not just the jump scares. It's like the build up, the fear. I can feel it. I, I when you play in the game, I play games like like I'm the character in the in the game. Another shrine to the spirit. If there was a message here, the spirit already claimed it. Hey, okay. A battle. Close by. Oh, I hear that, man. I hear you heard that too. All right, we got a battle. About time. Some action. Uh, uh Mr. Bean dropped the duffel bag. RK pop link. Doing good. Mr. Bean said, "Doing good." Yeah, man. We we got a. Hey. What what game should I play this Halloween? What what is this? August September? We got two months, man. I think they do got another Outlast game, but I think I need me an Outlast game that. What time is three fifty nine? Okay, I ain't gonna be on too much longer. I think I need a, a a horror game that I have a fighting chance in, man. I the run hide or die um type of games are just too much for me, man. I need to be able to shoot back, fight back, something. The run high, die, but I played if that's what y'all want me to play, man. There's no, I'm going to be like, like a straight B.I. I'm going to be screaming like a B.I. Just know it. Don't get mad when y'all see the other side or not. Like, Damn, I'm not saying like a bitch. Why you so scared? I could watch all the scary movies. The Conjuring. The Annabelle. Hey. Matter of fact, hey, all right. If you in the chat, you can hear my voice. Drop in the chat. What was y'all scared of growing up? I'm about to, I'm about to mess y'all up with this one. Y'all yeah, gonna be like, I know your big ass wasn't scared. Hey, I, and I've mentioned this before. If you one of the A one day ones, if you remember, you know what I'm scared of. But as growing up as a kid, what was y'all scared of? What was y'all main scare thing? You know, Pumpkinhead, Fred, um, Freddy Krueger. You know, what was you afraid of? What am I, where am I going to? Oh, I see. What's up? Who in here? Someone's been living here for a long time. Well, let me, let me get that. A banner of Clan Yadikoa. 
Oh, how are you? That's the best game. I like the shit, Jordan. Hey, appreciate the J Jordan, man. What's getting in a hoodie? The J Jordan, hey, man. My boy is doing big things. J Jordan, Everybody man. Y'all check him out and show him some love. The words are nonsense. Something about the Lord Yarikawa being alive. Okay, just doing a little investigation. Of man, I feel like all oh, this mine now. Infested with fleas. Ugh. You can you can see that in the dark. What's in here? Offerings taken from the shrines to the Uh space. hey Carol the girl miniature. Hello everyone in chat. Carol the girl course. say hey Jay. I have to find whoever this is. Um the lady There's in the bathroom that scratched your eyes out. I don't remember that one. What was that from a movie? The lady in the bathroom that scratched your eyes out. Jay Jordan, man, what was you scared of growing up? Was you afraid of anything growing up? Any particular movie or monster? I'm about to tell y'all what mine was, man. Y'all gonna be looking at me crazy. Y'all see mine. So we gotta find more white smoke again. So we was finally about to get a fight in. That's that's right. That's right. Smoke right there, right? Y'all see that? Where's my horse, man? I'm tired of walking. Yeah. And next time I need help, don't you run the opposite way, brother. You're supposed to have each other's back. Freddy for sure. Are oh, you afraid of Freddy? I, I wasn't afraid of um, Freddy, man. All right. Well, how about this? What do y'all think I was scared of? Lord Sakai is the last of his clan, and a servant of the dog Shimura. Lead him to the Garden of the Gods so they may witness his death. I'm about to mess y'all up with this spirit. one. Kill me, or go to the Garden of the Gods. I'm about to mess y'all up with this one. I was afraid. My lord. What's up, man? You see I'm doing something? What do you know about the Garden of the Gods? Only that it's a beautiful field of white flowers. Why I gotta be a beautiful field? Why I can't be a beautiful field of black flowers? No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, Freddy had me terrified. Oh, the boy is terrified of Freddy. Man, bruh, I'm about to mess you up with this one. I don't know, maybe my horse can make it. Oh no, we don't even gotta jump. Bruh, I was afraid of Chucky growing up, man. I was afraid of Chucky. I mean, I was big afraid. I was terrified. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't go to sleep. I was so scared of Chucky, man. I cursed in front of my mama and my aunties for the first time because of Chucky. The spirit. He was just here. But I, I'm. You saw the spirit. Where did he go? Toward the garden of the gods. That must be why all the fireflies have gathered there. Oh, is that why all the fireflies have gathered there? Bruh, this is originally where I went to, man. This was the first spot I went to. Statues of the gods. This must be their garden. A shrine. No spirit. This note's addressed to me. That's come for me. Yariko's vengeance has come for you. Hey, you good to go get some? Come get some. What's up, my boy? Wait, so that dog walk, ain't it? <laughs> Look at him. I am the wind that stirs the ashes. Okay. I am Yarekawa's vengeance. Oh, tell me you more. You spill blood using a technique uh, that died with a clan of tricks. Chucky was my Boy. shit. Hey, I love it now, me. but how I know I was afraid of it growing up, no one survived. I still get chills, <laughs> bruh, when I see him. When you make certain faces, man, that little scene. Oh, my God. I swear, I'm getting chills right now as we speak, bruh. As we speak, I'm getting chills. That scene who where a mama finally a questioned, is Chucky alive? And she looked and seen the batteries were still in the box. Baby. And she was like, All you better talk, mother, I'm gonna throw you in the fire. Plans. And he comes a lot, bruh, you. look, I'm getting Not chills everyone. just thinking about Some it, bruh. He was like, you stupid, man. And she, he went crazy and dropped on the ground and rolled under the couch. Bruh, that part kills me every time. All right, let's get it. <laughs> I don't it done been so long. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, you can't use none of your specials. All right, come on, let's get right. Let's get right. I see how you move. Daddy Power is your brave. I missed the heavenly strike. Yeah, my auntie house was scary house. And we watch scary movies every night. What? They just finish me? Your auntie house was a scary house? See, man, my cousin would always want to watch Chucky, man. And I remember one night, he was just like, come on, man, we got to watch Chucky. We watch Chucky. And I said, I ain't watching no motherfucking Chucky. But my mom was ready to whoop my behind. And... Yeah, you sure don't want no smoke. But my auntie saved me. She's like, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. I missed. I can't believe I missed that hit. Better quit playing with me, boy. I'm not the, the best samurai in this bit. The true enemy. The dance of I'm not the best samurai in this bit, man. Three on the 73, 15 on the lights, man. I appreciate y'all for that, man. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up on this note. Got an alpha. I got to go to... Gotta, before I start the drive for it. Omokadi's Revenge and Human Strength and Venomous Onslaught. <laughs> Omokadi's Revenge and Human Strength. In a venomous onslaught. I like that. I like how that sound. I like how that sound. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Anybody else want some? Whoever who who else wants some? You want some too? Bro, what's up? You want some? Nah, you never mind. You look too soft. I don't like I don't like that angle. What's up? You want some? Nah. Alright, yeah, we did that. All right, we made some progression for sure, man. Uh, in conclusion, you know, the next time you feel in a disagreement or you feel in an argument, you know, just think about it. Listen to what that person has to say. They might be making a point. You know, take the time to let them get, um, get it off their chest. And then speak accordingly. Let's not try to factor too much emotion behind it, but let's use that emotion as a passion for us to go about this conversation the right way so that it may be conducive to our lives and find a solution that works for both of us and if not if there is not a solution it's okay to agree to disagree you know you don't all have to be friends you don't all have to be but what we do have to do what we will do what must be is that we respect each other, you know? I respect you enough to let you speak your peace. I respect you enough to hear you out. I respect you enough to know 
we might not need to be in the same circle, you know? And that's all okay. Got billions of different people, millions of different ways, lifestyles, and uh, point of views and perception. So with that being said, I appreciate all y'all pulling up and showing some love. I appreciate the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all juggernauts, man. Peace, love, and respect. Pass it forward, you'll get it back tenfold. Put God in everything you do, you won't have no choice but to be successful. Peace.